Hello, my dear Capricorns. This is your reading for the month of July 2022. Welcome. And this is a reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus of Capricorn. Also, Cross Watchers, you are here too, uh, and you are welcome. And uh, stick what resonates, leave the rest behind. And yeah, like always. <clears throat> Let's get started, guys. So, you know, the July will be very interesting for you guys because this is your moon energy here coming up. The full moon is going to be in Capricorn. And I am myself a Capricorn moon. So if you're here and your Capricorn is a... Your moon sign is in Capricorn. So, yeah. Oh, okay. You are... You know, your energy is going to... This is going to be a very potent time for you as well. For the moon. Specifically for the moon... Uh, energies look what we have here we have the world card number 29 so you could be 29 years old um <clears throat> this is also 9 plus 2 is 11 so 11 11 is a very powerful number right it's a it's a it's a <clears throat> a, a, a spirit number okay spiritual number so 11 11 so i do feel here uh, there is a completion here with the word energy, okay? It's like, I feel like there is no more boundaries for you guys. Um, you're free to go wherever you want. We have the globe energy here, uh, the word. Okay, we have earth energy. This is also very nurturing, maybe at this time for you. This is an energy, uh, it's like a clean slate energy for you, okay, in the month of July. So when if you are asking about a job, uh, you know, that fell apart or like a relationship that fell or falling apart, uh, they're telling you that it's a clean slate, okay? It's the month where you can start everything uh, and do everything you want. Start from uh, square one, okay? And this is not a bad thing. Don't see, as, don't see that as a bad thing because it's just... Um, it's an opportunity for you to choose something that is uh, <clears throat> aligns better with your energy, with your frequency, okay? So now we're going to get from the uh, this deck over here, which is the Nature Speak Oracle. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I feel like an energy of expansion, of, um, you know, no more, no more boundaries, okay? It's like opening up for you. It's clear. You see the past clearly. Okay, show me Capricorn. Okay, we have the swamp. Face your fears. There will be some fear of involved here, okay? Of course, because look, this card also, it looks like a little dark. It looks like you're coming out of this dark night of the soul here as well for some of you. You're coming out of, an, out of a very, a very bad, very difficult, very uh, emotional cycle. And you're coming out of it because this is the word. If you uh, compare to the word card in the tarot, uh, it's like the last card. So it's ending, completion, graduation, right? So you graduated here, all right? And then you faced your fear. I feel like you did that already. So it's like um, your angels, your spirit telling you that you, you, you did it, okay? So now let's see what the <clears throat> tarot here exactly what it is about. So because I'm focusing more on love, but because of this graduation and completion here, I'm going to see uh, a little bit deeper here besides love, you know, what else coming up. But I'm focusing on love. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull cards for you, for them, and we're going to see for you and them. And you put yourself wherever, wherever you belong. And I'm going to see the general energy, the uh, overall, and the outcome, okay? So this is for Capricorn. I don't, I don't know why the cards behave like this. Once again. Okay, Capricorn for the month of July, please. Very thank you. For the month of July. 2022 spirit. Thank you. I appreciate. Okay. Three of Wands, yeah. So three of wands is like also for me coming, you, the, the coming in of something, the arrival of something, okay? After completion, there's something new coming in for you, okay? <clears throat> Five of pentacles here is telling me that um, 
it's like yes you feel left behind yes you feel um abandoned okay but look if you look behind you have that key here and there is this key is this bolt coming in okay this new arrival here whatever it is okay a new job a new a new um a new romance partner in your life okay they're telling you okay you have to fe face your fear because it's like also this dark night of the soul but look there's some light coming in okay you have a little bit of shadow here but it's the end and you have the light shining on this key and on this uh, door here okay this opening that you can use to go towards the next cycle that you can open to go to the next cycle here okay all right now let's see uh for you guys all right, so this is you right here. Queen of Pentacles, Chariot, <clears throat> Four of Wands, ooh, and Two of Cups, guys. Okay, very good. Okay, I'm going to put those like this. Okay, so yeah, see that? Definitely, guys. Um, this is Cancer energy. We are in Cancer season still, right? So this is a, a, uh, something coming in, okay? Arrival here. Like I said here with the Two of Pentacles, uh, Two of Cup, um, Two of Wands. There's an arrival here, okay? Happening in the season of Cancer season, okay? Which is July, part of July. Uh, your foundations, okay? Your everything that was not meant for you is going to fall apart. And you're going to build new foundations here, something stable here. The Queen of Pentacles is someone who has money in the bank, someone who is also a nurturer. You could be a mom, a single mom, and now you found, you know, you're building something new here, a new empire, four of <clears throat> one's energy. Okay, for others here, it could be a new love coming towards you. Two of Cups. Okay, Two of Cups is partnership signing signatures here. New romance here coming in, okay. Someone who is a soulmate, uh, <clears throat> a partner, a higher partner here. Yeah, a soulmate. Six of Cups will, will be the next card here for you. So, a soulmate here, uh, deep connection here. Someone that maybe you've known from the past, uh, not that you've been with them, but maybe a friend that uh, you know you lost contact and is coming back. For some of you, this friendship is going to turn into a romance. It doesn't have to be for all of you guys. But yeah, someone coming back here, maybe you're going to have help from your friends. Okay, as well. It's also a past life here, okay? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I do feel past life for some of you. So someone from your past life coming in uh, and uh, you're going to feel like home. You have the home energy and you have the chariot energy which is cancer and cancer and his mom energy uh home being feeling uh working from home maybe for some of you as well okay and i forgot to mention that with the word energy i do see some movement here okay we have we have the chariot the word energy could be involving uh abroad okay energies maybe you're traveling at this time you have also the three of uh three of wands which is also movement okay so i do fear traveling involving here uh, your uh, your future okay now let's see uh, for your person okay let's see uh if you're looking for your um <clears throat> your partner here your next partner when and uh, who are they gonna be when are they coming what kind of energy are they bringing with and this is for Capricorn for the month of July 2022. Thank you. Oops. Okay, I'm going to cut the deck again for them. And see what is the energy for these, this person. Okay, so this person could be a Gemini. All right, Capricorn, this person could be a Gemini, but this is also your soulmate here, okay? Strong soulmate, you have a contract with them. We did see the Six of pen, uh, six of Cups. There's a contract. It, this is like meant to be, okay? All right, so we have Ten of Swords. So this person <clears throat> went to an ending here. Yeah. So this person could have been uh, involved in a partnership. It could be a job or it could be a, um, 
a married marriage okay so this person is ending here definitely is mo moving away from a marriage okay because we have ten of swords so moving away from something painful here, something that's not working out for them. We have Justice card. Justice is all about contracts. So it's like moving away and then we have the ending here with the Death card. So this person could be a Scorpio or a Libra or Gemini. Okay. But this person also is about the same, you know, about the same energy than you. They're ending something. They graduated something here. Uh, if it's not a marriage, uh, they are, um, there is some sort of endings of a contract here okay it could be a, a job contract okay what will be the next card temperance they're balancing their life and we have the libra energy now we have sag energy so those two cards here telling me that this person is balancing their life near now there is a sense of healing and uh, timing as well so this person is showing up here at the right timing this is also um being patient okay because there is something here that needs to be seen differently, uh, that needs to be uh, revealed here, okay, for them as well. They're going through a lot of uh, shaking energy. And like I hear like, um, it's like universe is taking them and flip them, flip them away or uh, over, okay? So um, it's like an eye opener here. Yeah. Three of swords here, they're coming from something very painful, but they're ending that. And there's a sort of some sort of healing energy as well. Okay, now we're going to see what is the outcome for this. <clears throat> for uh, this, uh, anything, you know, you want to ask for, Spirit. If it's about uh, moving away from a different place to a different place, or your job, or your um, love life. What is the outcome here for my Capricorns for the month of July 2022? Show me. Thank you. Okay. Wow. All right. So Ace of Swords here is telling me you're going to receive clarity. You're going to receive the answer you need. Okay. We have the Six of Wands here. Six of Wands is going to take you to success. You have the char Charity is also success energy. So you have double success here. So anything that you ask for is going to be successful if you, <clears throat> when you move on, okay? When you get out of this fear energy, you face your fear and you get out, you open this door. Whatever it is for you, it's going to be successful here. It's going to be victory. It's going to feel like a victory. Look, we have this two of cups again. We have two of cups twice. So definitely here, there is a partnership in, on the horizon for you. Okay, I'm going to take one card. And <clears throat> it's going to be uh, a contract, okay? A, a love contract, romance. You know, someone uh, someone coming towards you and moving, you know, getting together, getting to know them and falling in love. So definitely I see that. But I do see in contract in the sense of, you know, for some of you, you're signing a, a contract for a new job. Or are you signing a new lease because we have the four of wands here? So you're buying a house for some of you, I see that too. Or a car even with the chariot energy. And yeah, we have, wow, we have the ace of cups. So pretty good for you guys, Capricorn. I really love this energy for you. So Capricorn, if you made it that far, uh, make sure you give me an emoji. And um, let me um, color, let's see, red. Give me an emoji down below in the comment section. Uh, put an, a red emoji. Uh, I will know that you made it that far, okay? And we are at 14 minutes. So, yeah, let me know um, what's going on as well, okay? I want to know. I want to hear from you guys. Uh, my comments here are available now. Uh, let me know. But I do feel here uh, clarity, communication. Uh, you re really being very happy here, very feeling content. Uh, at peace here with this Ace of Cups as well. At, at peace in love, at peace in, in your job, uh, whatever things you're moving on to in your life, okay? Whatever endings you, you're going through, uh, you face your fear. You, you, um, you, um, <clears throat> how can I say that? You put an end. You, um, you went through your fear, okay? You accepted it. You accepted this ending, whatever it is. 
and now good things are coming towards you okay it's like about love it's about uh everything uh, really okay whatever you want to uh, manifest it's happening capricorn i told you this this was going to be very successful and very strong for you guys in the month of um july i am uh, myself going to something very uh challenging here in this month i mean starting like uh it started a few months ago but it's really uh showing up here for me in june and i do feel july will be the the revelation here okay because we also had uh this hangman it's like everything is going to shift there's a shift here and um yeah and uh yeah for something better all right show me um capricorn for the month of july okay i do see the boat here at the bottom so for me guys some of you uh are gonna go yeah some of you are traveling for sure there's a boat here i was talking about and now the boat so receiving what you need progression arriving and moving on and closure see closure issues so yes because you had the fear going on but i feel like now you went through that okay because everything here is very positive here you have two aces on the board you have two ace of cups okay you have the lover's energy uh, I do feel signature of contract, new contract, because we have two ACs, so it's about new things coming for you. So, uh, yeah, so positive things here. Stay positive too, okay? If you address your fears, <clears throat> you know they're there, and you make peace with it, you know, everything will come towards you, um, and you will manifest better, okay? You will be in a better place to manifest your dreams and your desires. All right. Let me see. One more. Okay. What do we have? Oops. We have soulmates. Okay. Yeah, definitely here. Soulmates with the uh, Gemini lovers card and the two of cups that we have twice here on the board as well. And uh, uh, let's not forget the ace of cups too. Right. So soulmate for sure. Soulmate energy here. Partnership, agreement, soul contract. There is a soul connection here for you guys. If you want that. Uh, it could also be work, right? You could be finding your workplace. Uh, something could work out for you better than other thi another thing. And it's it's kind of like also uh, your soul path, right? It's about your soul path. <clears throat> All right, guys. So this is what I have for you for the month of July. I, I hope that it helped you. And please consider to uh, subscribe. Thank you for your likes and uh, share the video as well to help other people in the community. And uh, consider also to hit that bell button to, um, you know, to get more uh, notification for my next videos coming up. Thank you for all your love and uh, your appreciate, uh, appreciation. I love you so much, guys, and have a wonderful month. And don't worry, you'll get through that, okay? It all will come together at the end. I love you guys. Bye.